Doug, we have hit the 7 o'clock hour, and that means the 2015 sturgeon spearing season is officially underway. Pauline is spending the morning out on Lake Winnebago. Hey, Pauline. Hey guys, can you see me over here? We're in a nice shanty right now. We've been following around the Rose Brothers. We've got Jesse and Perry here in a nice and warm, although you can see our breath, but the heater's on. Nice and warm ice shanty right now. Check it out. Holes open. We got the decoy in there. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Let's just take us through the process. What did you put down there first? Well, we put a, a bottom marker down so we can see the bottom. Visibility is great. It's about uh, 17 feet of water. and. Uh, Get my eyes to adjust here. Um, <laughs> takes a little bit because you're in the black, yeah. and then we just put the decoy down. So, okay. <sighs> and now the spear's down here too. Yeah, it's past seven o'clock, so she's uh, we're ready. She's, you were ready. Yeah, Jesse already psyched me out, guys. He put down the decoy. And he's like, "Oh my gosh, there's a fish!" Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, you know, you got to get the <laughs> excitement going. It's this is what it's all about. So we got a we got a great bunch of guys with us. Uh, and, and I'm sure later, you know, but uh, one big happy family out here. Yeah. What have you been hearing from the other guys? Are, are they just getting out here, getting set up? I just, they're just happy that they're here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a 2015 season, and uh, yeah, just the camaraderie, all the goofing around. I mean, the it's just fun. You know, once you once you're in the warm, it's it's fun and a lot of work, but uh, yeah, it's all about uh, being in Wisconsin. Now, what are your hopes? Last year, you speared a sturgeon. What do you think this year? Well, uh, you know, they always say, uh, you know, repeat, repeat. So uh, we'll uh, keep our fingers crossed and just got to keep staring down the, down the hole. Mm -hmm. You're trying a new decoy this year. Yep. Uh, it was made uh, by a friend of mine, Randy. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, maybe shouldn't change up, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's uh, bright orange and, and uh, definitely with the, with the visibility, I mean, uh, water clarity is, is excellent at this point. Mm -hmm. I keep wanting to look down the hole just to see if our sturgeon comes by. But in any case, so this is a lot of waiting. <laughs> what are you guys going to do in the meantime besides stare down this hole? Well, we might have a few uh, uh, cups of coffee, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe yep, Bloody Mary, and, uh, you know, fry up some venison and, uh, you know, just uh, look down the hole. Yeah. Perry, you ready? You're here for moral support. Ready? Ready. Ready? It's coming. I think this is the year. How yeah. big are you hoping? Which? How big of a one are you hoping to spear this thing? Well, they get some. Uh, they get some hundred inches out of here. You know, I, basically, this is just a great opportunity. Um, it, it, just seeing a fish to me is is exciting. Of course, last year getting one, but uh, anything that's uh, you know over the legal mark and and uh, you know just uh, yeah the excitement of it. So, um, yeah. got my well, fingers crossed. Yeah, so do I, under my mittens. I hope you guys can see us because it's a little steamy in here because we're all cramped in here. But we're going to keep an eye out. Hopefully a sturgeon comes by soon. We'll be out here checking in with Spears all morning, so we'll send it back to you. Yeah, the camera lens is a little fogged up. Hopefully that will clear out and we'll be able to see a nice big sturgeon today. Thanks, Pauline. And while there are plenty of Spearers on Lake Winnebago today, others are on the upriver lakes. Those are the lakes northwest of Oshkosh that flow into Lake Winnebago. The Department of Natural Resources gives out 500 licenses a year through a lottery system. Some say those are the best places to spear a sturgeon. Dennis Jones and his dog Bert are out there. Jones says he waited at least five years to get an upriver tag. There's just a lot of, of different things that make the upriver lakes uh, kind of special, you know. And some years it's the, the feed that might be out here and, and, and everything else. And it's a lot smaller shallower environment than what Winnebago is. DNR officials say more than 6,500 people apply to spear on the upriver lakes. That means on average people looking to get a permit could get one every 10 to 15 years. With the bitter cold here, the DNR is asking fishermen to register their sturgeon as soon as possible. In this weather, they say it won't take long for the fish to freeze. If they're frozen, it's more difficult for DNR officials to determine the sex of the fish and how old they are. Biologists say quicker registration can also help prevent a rush at the end of the season.